Coccidia and kittens and cats inhabit the intestinal tract. There are several species of these tiny parasites that are found in cats and other mammals, and some species are contagious to humans. The good news is that healthy adult cats rarely get sick with coccidia, and most cats can beat coccidia infections on their own without treatment. Keep watching to learn more about coccidia in cats as well as signs that your cat might have these parasites. What is coccidia in cats? Coccidia are parasites that live in the gastrointestinal tract of cats and other mammals. There are several species of coccidia parasites, and cats can harbor a few different types. Common types include Isospora felis and Isospora revolta, intestinal parasites that only infect cats, and Cryptosporidium parvum and Toxoplasma gondii, two coccidia species which are both known to be zoonotic, or contagious to humans. No matter the species of coccidia, they're all spread the same way, accidental ingestion of sporulated oocysts, the infectious life stage of coccidia parasites. Oocysts lurk in feces from cats infected with the parasite, or food or water contaminated with feces. Toxoplasma can also be spread by consuming raw meat infected with parasitic cysts, therefore, cats that hunt or eat raw meat are at higher risk for developing coccidia. Signs of coccidia in cats Signs of a coccidia infection vary based on the species of coccidia as well as the age and health of the cat. Coccidia in kittens usually causes more clinical signs than coccidia in healthy adult cats because kittens typically have a weaker immune system relative to adult cats. On the other hand, there may be no signs in adult cats, the cat may look and act completely healthy and be able to overcome the infection without treatment. Cats with other underlying health issues are at higher risk for developing coccidia. Signs of coccidia in kittens include watery or mucousy diarrhea that is sometimes streaked with blood. A severe infection of coccidia in kittens can cause weakness. Signs of a possible infection with toxoplasma may include no signs at all, or the cat may display signs such as excessive tiredness or sleeping, weight loss, fever, excessive eye discharge or squinting, difficulty breathing, diarrhea, vomiting, loss of balance, seizures, weakness. Another factor to consider is that pregnant cats infected with toxoplasma may deliver stillborn kittens. However, male cats seem to be at a higher risk for toxoplasma than female cats. Diagnosing coccidia in cats. If you suspect your cat is suffering from a coccidia infection, make an appointment to have your cat seen by your local veterinarian. When you take your cat to see the vet, try to bring a fresh sample of feces with you. Typically, coccidia can be diagnosed by a combination of history from you, a physical exam of your cat and a microscopic fecal examination. Because many cats can be infected without the appearance of clinical signs, it's important to get your cat's feces tested at least yearly to make sure your cat isn't unknowingly harboring and spreading the parasite. However, the good news for toxoplasmosis is that cats only shed this parasite for around 7 days after the first time they're exposed. So although repeat exposure may cause your cat to become sick, it would be unlikely that they would be at risk of exposing other pets or people in your house to the parasite. If your cat is visibly sick or the vet suspects a toxoplasma infection or other disease, then the vet may order additional tests to check how your cat's internal organs are functioning and rule out other diseases. They may also do blood tests that look for antibodies against the toxoplasma parasite to help determine if they've ever been exposed or are dealing with an active infection. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Treatment options. Fortunately, most coccidial infections resolve on their own. However, if need be, coccidia can be easily treated. For infections due to isospora, sulfadimethoxine is often prescribed, and affected cats are treated until their fecal tests come back negative for parasites. Cryptosporidium in cats can be treated with antibiotics such as tylosin or paramomycin. Another form of medication, ponazuril, may also be prescribed. In any case, your vet will know the best medicine to use for your cat. Toxoplasma infections are more likely to require treatment, especially if your cat is acting sick, and is often treated by prescribing a two-week course of an antibiotic called clindamycin. Clindamycin can cause negative side effects in some cats, including loss of appetite, vomiting and diarrhea. If you notice any side effects, call your vet. Otherwise, finish all medications as prescribed, even if you notice your cat is feeling better. If your cat is extremely ill or dehydrated, then your vet may recommend rehydrating your cat with subcutaneous or intravenous fluids. Prevention Options Coccidial parasites are everywhere within the environment. 
Fortunately, most healthy adult cats can fight off coccidia with their immune system. Keeping cats indoors and having their feces tested yearly for any parasites is a good way to minimize you and your cat's exposure to internal parasites. Pregnant women are at most risk for toxoplasma as the parasite can cause potentially fatal birth defects in human babies. If you're pregnant and have cats, ask someone else to clean the litter box, do not handle any cat feces and wash your hands after petting or playing with your cats. You can also talk to your doctor about being tested for toxoplasma antibodies or talk to your vet about having your cat tested for antibodies to assess your risk. Remember, the most common form of coccidia in cats, isosporophilus, is not contagious to people or dogs, and most adult cats eliminate the infection without any treatment. If you have a kitten, your cat is acting sick, or you're worried in any way, never hesitate to ask your local vet for help. How do cats get coccidia? Coccidia infections develop when a cat swallows oocysts, immature coccidia, that are found in infected feces or any environment contaminated with infected feces. Coccidia are capable of surviving long periods of time outside of the cat's body. The parasite can also live in the muscles of rodents such as mice, therefore, a cat that hunts and eats mice can become infected that way. Direct contact is not required for the infection to spread. A cat can track microscopic spores out of the litter box and all through the house, which can then result in possible infection. Kittens can catch coccidia from their mother. If the mother is shedding oocysts, the kitten can become infected through nursing or from exposure to her feces. Kittens are also more at risk in general because they have underdeveloped immune systems, which means they have a much harder time fighting off infection. Recovery and management of coccidia in cats. For cats with coccidia, the prognosis for recovery is positive. Most cats are able to clear the infection. Kittens are at a higher risk for more serious complications, or even death, because their immune systems are not strong enough to fight off infections. That's why it's important to be aware of the possible signs and symptoms. It's a good idea to have another fecal test performed around the two-week mark after treatment begins, to ensure the cat has completely cleared the infection. If antibiotics have been prescribed, be sure to complete the entire course as directed by your veterinarian, even after your cat's symptoms start to clear up. Is there a cure for coccidiosis in cats? Yes. Coccidia may resolve even without treatment, but administering an antibiotic such as trimethoprim sulfonamide can help resolve clinical signs faster and either limit or stop the spread of environmental contamination completely. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.